Good evening, I'm Assistant Chief Weather Forecaster Hope Kleitch. We have an active weather pattern setting up for the day tomorrow. Starting off, we have a wind advisory. Now this will go in effect from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow. That's for most of our viewing area, excluding those northern counties, although they'll still be experiencing those breezy conditions tomorrow. This wind advisory entails that we'll see some sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour with occasional wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour throughout the day tomorrow. So you want to take action tonight to tie down any loose objects that you may have outside. Right now we're seeing those winds starting to increase across the state. 17 miles per hour out of the east-southeast here in Muncie, 22 miles per hour out of the east-southeast down in Bloomington. Timing out these wind gusts, you start to see them starting to increase throughout the night tonight. At 11 p.m., we're seeing wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour here in Muncie. And then going into the early morning at 7 a.m., we'll see a wind gusts up to 41 miles per hour. And then throughout the day, they'll hover around the 30 to 50 mile per hour range. And then finally pushing eastward by the day on Thursday. Thursday will still see some high wind gusts, but they won't be as high as we will see tomorrow. Along with that wind advisory, we do have the threat of severe weather for tomorrow. We do see a marginal risk for our viewing area. That is a level 1 out of 5, so not a great threat like they do see down south, but still a threat of seeing some severe weather. For us here in our viewing area, the greatest threat is damaging winds and heavy rainfall. We're giving that a level 2 out of 5. So that's already on top of those breezy conditions tomorrow and the occasional rain throughout the day. We are giving the tornado threat a level 1 out of 5, so a low threat, but not it cannot be ruled out for tomorrow. And timing this all out on Precision Cast, we start to see these rain showers push through the area tonight, clearing up by early tomorrow morning, and we'll stay dry dry throughout the day tomorrow until those um, showers move into the area come evening time and we see these heavier pockets of rain indicated in the orange and red and that's off to our west by 8 p.m. and that will push through our area by the late evening hours and then clearing up by the early morning on Thursday. We'll see some isolated pockets of rain showers throughout the day on Thursday and maybe a wet snowflake mix in as those temperatures drop throughout the day. Recapping this all, we'll see some scattered rain showers tonight, a low of 38 degrees, those winds increasing coming out of the southeast around 15 to 20 miles per hour, and wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour, so definitely want to take those actions to tie down any loose objects. And then throughout the day tomorrow, we'll stay dry throughout most of the day, 46 degrees at 8 a.m. and warming up nicely to a high of 73 degrees, so jumping above average as we've been seeing those below average temperatures, and again, those pretty breezy conditions throughout the day. South winds at 25 miles per hour and we could see some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And then those rain showers will enter the picture go, um, going into the evening time. Looking at your mid seven day forecast, a high of 73 degrees tomorrow with those isolated rain chances into the evening hours and then dropping to 51 degrees on Thursday and then drying up for the weekend with an isolated rain chance on Saturday and then staying around average going into the start of next week. To stay up to date on all things weather, be sure to follow us at NLI Weather on Facebook and Twitter.